For the longest time, I avoided custom fields in Joomla. I just never got into it. Well, that's changed, and I want to tell you why. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And in this video, I want to talk about custom fields in Joomla 4 and why I'm now a convert. It actually all started with a conversation with Robbie Adair, who owns OS Training. And she did a session for Joomla Next on custom fields that I watched. And it's like, OK, this is worth a revisit. So if you've avoided custom fields in Joomla, watch my video and then head over to Robbie's more extended overview of custom fields. And you'll see why they're actually incredibly powerful in Joomla 4. All right, let's dive in. I'm on a quick little demo site. I have one category blog called Business Directory. And I've created several custom fields. You start off by creating a field group, which I called Business Directory. And then you can add custom fields to that business group. And if I filter by business group, you'll see I've got business category, tagline, and location. The really awesome thing with custom fields in Joomla is literally any kind of database field you want to use. You can use some extras here, like a location, which goes out and grabs a map, of course, list of images, list editor, and more. It's pretty amazing. And Robbie goes into a few more of these details in her session. So again, I'm going to encourage you to watch that. New in Joomla 4 also is subform. And I got to tell you, these are pretty amazing as well. It allows you to have multiple values for a subform in your Joomla custom fields. And again, Robbie is going to go into that in more detail in her session. But let me just give you the quick 30,000 foot overview here. I can create custom fields that hold data for a particular category or just any article in general. But breaking it down by category is where the real power is. So again, I've got these three different categories. The business category is just a series of checkboxes where, obviously, they're business categories. Tagline is just a simple text field. And then location is an actual map. And now when I go into articles and edit an article or add a new one, I've got the content here. And this is just typical lorem ipsum text, of course. I've got images and links. That's pretty typical. But here I've got the business directory. And this is where all of the fields that I've associated with the business directory category show up. There's my categories, the tagline, and of course the map. And I just throw in the Google Map coordinates. Well, part of why I now love custom fields in Joomla is because it's now become incredibly easy to just put them anywhere on the page. Some of my frustration always revolved around the pain in the neck of having to add custom template overrides in order to add these fields where I wanted in an article page rather than just having them listed either above or below the content. Well, let me show you what I mean. I'm going to head over to Site Template Styles. And I'm using the Utheme template and their builder. And no, it's not free. But yes, it's worth every penny. I'm going to click Customize. And I'm going to go to my business directory. This is a typical blog layout. And there's that ye old flower shop article. And if I wanted to update the layout of this article, as you can see, it's customized pretty heavily. I'm going to click on Templates, go to Single Article Template, click Builder. And now I'm able to quickly go anywhere here and drag and drop elements of the article around. Well, here's my tagline, for instance. If I click on Headline, Advanced, make it dynamic for the current article, and then come in and just basically select the tagline. Similarly, here's the map. If I click back and click on Article, once again, I've got that dynamic element that now allows me to put these different custom fields anywhere I want in the Joomla article layout. Wow, this is cool. Now, Robbie's going to go into a lot more detail on this, but I'm going to really encourage you to watch her session. One last thing here, if I click on Business Directory, I can even filter here by different elements. Now, this is not part of Utheme. This is an add-on plugin, but it's free. And again, Robbie's going to talk more about that in her session. Well, I hope this has been helpful. 
and got you just a little bit more curious about custom fields in Joomla. Head on over to Robbie's seminar to get a much more in-depth look at custom fields and even a little bit more on the U theme and what it can do for you. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.